this poem by Ted Hughes is uh, a memory of World War I. It's a poem about that. And it's about a kind of memory of his father, I think. I think it is. Um, it doesn't matter um, if it's his father or someone else, but essentially, um, whereas Wilfred Owen's poem is about the experience of war, um, Ted Hughes is remember it, is kind of constructing what it is that people remember of the war. And the major thing about this is this idea that we talked about with the Wilfred Owen's poem is this protest. This is poetry as protest, poetry as um, a way of saying we don't approve the war. And this poem really exemplifies that myth, um, whether it's true or not. It's a kind of mytho mythology of the war, definitely through poetry. Um, and it's amazing uh, because uh, in its vividness and its action, whereas Owen, who was actually there, said nothing happens. It's this boredom. Here we get a charge, a bayonet charge, straight on. Um, attacking with your rifle at the end of the rifle was a big bayonet, a kind of extended knife, um, really crazy way to fight. Um, this charge occurs. What's amazing right away with the poem is how it begins um, in the middle of action. Um, he awoke and was running. It's like he's sleep running, um, middle of the action. Um, I love that opening. It really catches it raw, in raw, seamed, hot khaki, that repetition. So his, his emo this is his, his emotions, I guess, are raw. His sweat heavy, stumbling across a field of clods towards a green hedge that dazzled with rifle fire. Amazing image dazzled the the bright lights maybe the flickering of the bullets through the hedge i don't know hearing bullets smacking the belly out of the air what a metaphor what a sound what a sound he lugged a rifle numb as a smashed arm lugging dragging carrying useless too if he's if he's because it's numb it's useless the patriotic tear that had brimmed in his eyes in his eye sweating like molten iron from the center of his chest what a remarkably weird set of lines so we have the irony of him caring now becoming Um, fear of death and being shot, it seems, that image. Sweating and sweat, molten iron from the center of his chest. He's just, the, the presence of the fear, um, molten iron just pouring out, just pouring out. So what began as tears, oh, I want to fight for my country. Now is just, just, just raw, raw fear, not of being shot, just fear of death would go in bewilderment confusion then he almost stopped this is a strange little image in what cold clockwork of the stars and nations was he the hand that pointing that second there's an image of a guy jumping over a trench kind of leaping out i think that's coming to mind here but the image uh, is of a man jumping, pointing to the sky. Uh, time is frozen. Time is sped up. Time is all these things. What is my significant? What is it? What is my significance? Is what the speaker is trying to figure out. He was running, like a man who has jumped up in the dark and runs, listening between his footfalls, for the reason of his still running, and his foot hung like a statuary in mid-stride. So that image is married to that image. He's fearful, listening, uh, hiding maybe, I don't know. Then the shot slashed furrows and jammed between the stanzas. It seems really rational, but that, that that's a really interesting kind of enjambment. 
Then the shot, because that could have just started here. Then the shot slashed furrows, I like that. Threw up a yellow hair that rolled like a flame and crawled in a thrashing circle. Amazing, natural image. Beautiful. Contrast with war. Its mouth wide. Its eyes standing out. Look at that. This hair. In the middle of this war comes this like rabbit just running. And he just goes past it. He just rushes past it. He plunges. And he goes to the green hedge, kind of in the direction of the of the of the bunny of the hare, king honor, human dignity, etc. The etc. really emphasizes his um, mockery of these values because they dropped like you drop luxuries in an alarm, you drop luxuries when you're afraid alarm death L luxuries excess unneeded to get out of that blue crackling air his terrors touchy dynamite this isn't heroic. He wants to hide. He wants to live. He doesn't care about these things anymore. Um, he's just terrified, fearful, and it's like he's going to explode. His his fear is so much that he might he might explode. Um, at that ending is is really remarkable how this this natural image emerges maybe reminds him of his the, his humanity and his mockery of these th these things these reasons for fighting that's a wonderful little three stanza poem that captures something about the war and about wanting to live um i think it's fantastic